Right, you guys got another video here for you on how to remove viruses from a computer with one click. Now I've got quite a few people that wanted to see this particular video. So I thought I'd make a video showing you basically what it is. It's going to be a program called uh, Tron. Now Tron has been out for a very long time here and you can see this is Tron version 12 at the time of making this video. And it aims to automate 80% of the tedious work in getting a badly running Windows system back on its feet. You can see the sequence will be prep, temp clean, debloat, disinfect, repair, patch, and optimize and other things like that. So if you want to download it, you need to go to one of the download links and you can choose the destination where you live near and download the executable file here. And this will unpack the actual executable file and put two folders on your desktop. So let's go ahead and download this. And we can now see we have Tron downloaded. It's around about 465 uh, megabytes in size. So I'm gonna drag this onto my desktop here. And then what we need to do is right click and run this as administrator. Once we do this, it's gonna unpack the files that are inside, which are two folders. Now you may get the Windows protection uh, popping up and this is because it's an unknown publisher so if you're one of these people that don't like running unknown publisher programs on there then don't download it and don't run it on your system but if your system is infected or you just want to run this script then you obviously you can download it and run this at your own risk so once we've got this done we've got it downloaded here and we've now got it unpacked and there's a folder on here which is called tron so let's go ahead and take a look inside here inside here you've got resources and you've got the readme file and i'd advise you to sit there and read this because this is going to show you what the contents are inside here and the things that you need to do to run this script so basically just follow what they're telling you to do in the uh, use section here i'm going to be running this from the desktop here just to show you how it works but you can see here the wait time for this to complete is anything from three hours to ten hours so you'll see a batch file in here. I'm going to right click this and we're going to run this and you will see a prompt box popping up here and it's going to go and get some information for you which will tell you exactly uh, what's going to happen. It tells you if exactly what's going on in the background at each stage. So just keep an eye out what it's doing here. You will see a red prompt box popping up here. And again, this is to say I agree uh, in capital letters here and you push enter if you accept the terms and conditions. Basically, this is telling you that you run this at your own risk. The stages are it's going to prep the system, which means it's going to create a system restore point, run our kill, and then process killer or stinger. And then it's going to do the temp clean, which is going to be cleaning all your temp stuff by running C cleaner. It will de bloat the system, which is run OEM uh, bloatware and remove Metro bloaters. It will then disinfect the system by running Sophos. Uh, KVRT, MBAM, and also uh, DISM repair. Then it will also uh, run a repair on the system, which is going to do a check disk, SFC scan now, and remove any sort of telemetry. It will then patch the system, and then it will also optimize the system, defrag, and then uh, do some other things there. If you've got a mechanical drive, it will defrag. If you've got an SSD, it will skip that process. It will wrap things up. Uh, collect some log files, send an email and stuff like that. And then basically that is it. So this is what you can expect. And it will take four to six hours to complete this task. So this is going to be a automated system, which means you run it and you can just leave it running. So it does take a fair bit of time. And I've speeded this process up by cutting some segments out to make it a little bit quicker. So you don't have to sit around and wait. Do I use Tron myself to remove malware? No, I don't. I will run different types of programs and I also have my own methods of removing malware and I will sometimes do it manually as well. Now you may be saying, why don't you just run Tron? Well, I just prefer not to do it this method and also I just don't think it's going to remove every type of malware on the system. Another thing I've noticed here as well is it's doing other things other than removing malware like uh, de-bloating the system and other things like that. So this might not be a thing for you if you don't want all of these things to happen. So if that is the case, then don't run Tron on your system because it is going to optimize and remove things from your operating system and change settings on your system. 
it, this is not just a malware removal program. It's actually a complete package that does a lot of other things as well as removing infections. Now you will see here that you will get this uh, .NET framework popping up and you need to download and install this on your computer when this pops up. So you can just go ahead and click download and install to continue with the uh, process. So let's go ahead and get that started. And you can see there the launch job behind is DC cleaner. So we just let that run. It's run the temp file cleanup as well, and it's cleaned Internet Explorer. And it's also cleared the uh, SSL certificate cache there. It will go ahead and continue to clear all the Windows event logs and a bunch of other stuff here as well. So you can see that this cleanup is now running. And again, this is all automated. So now it's moved on down to the bottom part of the script here. So I'll zoom in here so you can see what it's doing. It's now going to go ahead and start to remove certain features from Windows. This is the part that you'd need to be careful of. It's checking if OneDrive is in use, and it's also checking a bunch of other things as well. It will attempt to remove junkware from the system and other things like that as well. And you can see it's also disabling a bunch of features in here. So if you don't want to debloat Windows and you don't want to do all this stuff and you just want to run uh, the malware cleanup, there is a section, and I'll show you that at the end of the video, which you can just run the malware cleanup if you want to. It's only going to run like free programs. I'll explain all that a little bit later on in the video. So it's running KVRT now, and uh, we're going to be basically running that. That is the tool that is run there. It's now running the Sophos virus removal tool as well, and you can see that coming up on the screen. It's going to download all the updates, check for updates, install all the updates and then basically run the program and you can see that here running in the background once all the virus scanning stage is out of the way it'll move on to another stage and you'll see that popping up in a second so let's just go ahead and speed this up here you can see we're getting a could not open an area here so it can't do that and it's moving on now to the deployment image servicing and management tool and it's going to run this as well. Now, this does take a bit of time, so I'll speed this process up and move on to the next stage. So that completed successfully there, and now it's going to move on to something else. So it's going to be beginning a verification phase of the system scan, and you just need to let that run as well. And then once that's complete, it will move on to another stage of the script, which is running here in the background. So this is what it does. It basically runs... Uh, steps, certain sequences and steps on your computer. So Windows uh, resource protection found, corrupted files, it successfully repaired those. It's now running a check disk on the system. This is going to run a check disk on your drives to make sure the drive has no bad sectors and it's working correctly. And it's going to run a bunch of checks there. So that does take a bit of time. And then it will move on to another stage. We're on stage four here. So the repair stage is now complete and it's now going to move on to the next stage. So it's updating Windows Defender and it's going to install Windows updates and a bunch of other things like that as well. It's also disabled the uh, NVIDIA telemetry there, I can see. It's repaired the network settings and it's repaired file extensions as well. So if they were infected or anything like that, it will repair those. So the thing you have to remember when you're running uh, this type of uh, program or script is that the fact it's going to be doing more than removing malware. It's going to be making uh, tweaks to your system, i.e. disabling NVIDIA telemetry and removing bloatware and all of these things as well. So if you don't want to do any of these things, then don't run Tron. There's another way of going about it, which I'll show you a bit later on. So we've moved through... Uh, step five, six, and seven, which is basically optimizing has been completed. And we're now wrapping up as begun. And we should now see uninstalling uh, malware bytes and a bunch of other stuff on the system. So you can see here, this is the end result. It gives you some information here. And you can see uh, what has actually happened here. Once you've finished with this, you can push continue and it will then close off the actual program. So what do I think of Tron? Would I use it on my daily driver as, a, as a, a maintenance system where I can scan for malware 
and do a bunch of other things on my computer. I'm pretty sure there is people that would do that themselves. I personally wouldn't use this myself on a daily basis or a weekly or monthly basis. I don't see no need for it. Um, but there is some good features in here which I want to mention. Inside here, you'll see a resources area. This is the functions and you can see the stages. So you've got the prep, the temp clean, the debloat, the disinfect and things like that. So the disinfect has got the Kaspersky removal tool, which is your KVRT, the MBAM, which is your malware bytes here and ADW cleaner is on this as well, which I'll show you in a second and the Sophos virus removal. Now these three tools alone are not going to remove every bit of malware on a computer. So that is where this tool fails a little bit. If you do want to run just that stage, you can do by going in here and running just the malware removal section. If you want to remove the tele telemetry and things like that, you can go in and do that as well. You can see here it's going to be doing patching and optimizing. So if you want to skip any of these stages, you can just go into the resource area and run just that particular uh, script on there and it will remove that type of stuff. There is some other areas here which you can look at, which is the Tron reset tool, the services repair tool, and the remote support reboot config, uh, network adapter repair, combo fix, blue screen view, auto runs, ADW cleaner, and ADS spy. So there is some other tools you can run inside here as well. So as thought about other tools that you might need to remove other infections. So what do I think about Tron? Now I do think that Tron is a pretty good tool the way it's been designed. Uh, but in a real world, we can't just rely on this one script or tool to do a malware or virus removal process. There's other stuff that it's doing in the process there as well. And if I was looking at removing, say, a heavily infected PC, I would not be running Tron on my computer because it's doing other things which I don't think are that important when you're concentrating on removing malware. So if you're concentrating on removing an infection from a PC and it's quite a heavily infected PC, why would you want to be worrying about debloating the computer and updating and doing these sorts of things when you should be concentrating on removing the malware itself? So with that said, I wouldn't put it in a category of a malware removal or virus removal uh, program or script. It's a more of a, a, a full package. It does other things like the bloating the system and tweaking and optimizing the system. I mean, removing NVIDIA telemetry and things like that when you've got an infection on the PC would not come under my highest priority to do those types of things. So with that alone, I think it would put this tool in the PC maintenance category rather than a virus or malware removal tool or script. So whether you use this type of thing is entirely up to you. I'll leave all the information in the video description. A pretty nice little unique tool there. Now I've had quite a few people asking about the YouTube members group and what is it? I think people are getting confused with subscriptions and also the members group. The members group is this join button here where you can click on it and become a membership of my YouTube members channel. It costs four pounds and 99 pence a month. And it's just a way of showing your appreciation and support to my YouTube channel channel and what I do on YouTube. You get a few little extra perks on there. So if you're interested, you can just head over to my YouTube channel and click the join button. Just like these guys, as you can see on the screen right now, they've all joined my YouTube members group. And just to show my appreciation, I put their names up there and put them on the end credits of this video. Anyway, with that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope you enjoyed the video. I shall see you again real soon for another one. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.